Michelle Wolf has a new show on Netflix, and it's not bad. Hi, thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about The Break with Michelle Wolf, a new show that is on Netflix. And I am doing this on Streaming Saturday Showcase. That's right, every Saturday I want to showcase a program that is streaming. I have Hulu and Netflix and Amazon Prime, and I thought I would find a program that I enjoyed and share it with you. Now, it was tough this week because there were a number of shows that I thought that I would do uh, for this video, but I didn't like them at all, and uh, <laughs> I can't recommend them. So I have settled on The Break with Michelle Wolf. This is a late-night talk show, although you can watch it at any time, right? Michelle Wolf, you may know her from the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Now, I did a video about that, and I did not find the White House Correspondents' Dinner funny in the least. I found her not funny at all, grating, and just, just bad. But I thought if they were to give her that opportunity, she's probably funny in other ways. And I was looking forward to the show, and it turns out that this show is actually pretty funny. So the format of the show is typical late night talk show. She starts off with a monologue. Uh, she has a sidekick who's a DJ. And there are some taped video pieces interspersed throughout the show uh, of some comedy, some fake commercials and some different uh, comedy that is taped. And then the show ends with her on the couch talking with a guest. I've got to say that I really enjoyed the monologue. I thought she was very funny. I thought it was edgy. And she was a bit mean. And I, I kind of like that in my comedy. The idea of calling it the break is that this show is supposed to be a break from other things. Now, I would have liked it more if it were a total break from all things political. She didn't get too political. But when she did, I found it cringy and not very funny. And those are two things that you don't want in your comedy show. So free advice, take them out, right? Just make this totally free of politics, and I think the show would be better. One thing that is tough for many people is her voice. It's very grating. It's just a hard voice to listen to. And I don't mean this uh, because she's a woman. There are men that have annoying voices as well. And I believe that if they were to get some therapy, get some help, and learn how to speak better, they'd probably have more success in their careers, perhaps. The show is only a half hour long, which is great, because I think now we're moving to a faster, quicker-paced world. We don't need an hour-long show, and so I think that it's a good length. One improvement to the show would be she could lose the DJ. DJs are supposed to play music. This guy didn't play any music at all. Maybe they didn't get the rights uh, to play it on the show. I don't know. But DJs play music. And if you don't play music, you're, you're not a DJ. Uh, secondly, he, he looked like Dwayne Wayne from A Different World. He just looked like a, a nerd with a big goofy grin and his gold chain and his over-the-top acting in the background when she was making jokes in her monologue. He's in the background. Oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> oh, it was bad. It was just distracting. They could lose him, and the program would be even better. Now, it may sound like I'm being critical of the show, and I'm really not. Uh, I would say that overall, I enjoyed her performance as a late-night host more so than anyone else currently in late night. So that's, um, that's not saying much because I don't like many of the late night comedians, but I like her more than all of them. And so I have a generally positive feeling about her show and I look forward to where it's going in the future. Now, I'm not sure when they uh, taped the show. Some of the jokes sounded a tad bit dated and hopefully they'll be able to tape the show maybe the day before or the day that it airs. I will be sharing a streaming show that I enjoy every Saturday. And if you have a program you'd like me to check out, leave it in the comments. Also, 
Have you seen The Break with Michelle Wolf? Let me know your thoughts about it. Peace. You can help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers by clicking the like button and subscribing. Thanks.